message title is for God so loved the world no matter what situation we find ourselves in there is one verse of scripture that will always be the nail in a sense in my heart that keeps me understanding the love of God it keeps my focus in perspective as to why I'm here what is the message what is the most profound message of God that can be preached in any pulpit to any heart at any time John chapter 3 and verse 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved he that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God and this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil for everyone that doeth evil hates the light and neither comes to the light lest his deeds should be reproved or that means discovered but he that does truth comes to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in God there is a day coming when every person ever created in the image of God is going to be resurrected from the dead and those who are still living will also be gathered together and there will be a judgment time there will be a time that you and I every person ever born stands before the throne of God don't forget this is coming don't forget this is a day that is still ahead of us every knee will bow Hitler's knee will bow Attila the Hun will bow some of the most ruthless characters of all time they will bend their knee and their tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord many many people will be looking at that moment for an opportunity the passage in John chapter 3 tells us why it says light came into the world light being everything that man needs to be regenerated brought back into right relationship with God a pathway that God himself sets before you and I and says this is the way walk in it and Jesus said light came into the world but they wouldn't come to this light because their deeds were evil now they may not have seen them as evil they may have justified their deeds they may have felt that their deeds were excusable perhaps in the light of the way that the rest of society is living and one of the most tragic mistakes that you and I can make is judging our, our own righteousness in a sense or our own right way of living by the standard of what's going on in the world folks that's not the standard the standard is Christ the standard is this Word of God it doesn't matter if you come to church coming to church is is one thing but coming to Christ is what it's all about coming to the throne of God now not waiting for a day when it's too late ultimately those that reject light have rejected the love of God now I'm, I'm going to try today to describe the love of God but you have to understand where I'm coming from I don't think there's a person alive that can fully describe the love of God when we get to heaven and finally see the great distance that God bridged through his son when he became a man how even our best intentions apart from God were filthy rags as Isaiah said in the sight of God when we finally understand that even our, our best efforts at decent speech I'm a man of unclean lips and we're a people of unclean lips when we finally see the Lord in his holiness we finally understand the incredible gap bridged between God and man the only answer that you and I will ever have is God you so love the world why else holy and infinite God would you have come down into the earth and let fallen creation spit in your face and let them slap you and let them scourge you and let them mock you on a cross when it was within your power to destroy it all and recreate it again in your image God could have at any moment said enough of this and just annihilated everything the only reason he didn't do it folks is for love because he loved you from before the foundation of the world the scripture says he loved you he saw you the greatest news that you will ever hear is that you can touch God today the devil would try to tell you you can't come to God he's holy and you're not but there's a people in every generation that say no I might be condemned I might have been cast out 
I might feel defiled, but I hear something in his voice calling me. I hear something when he stood and said, if anyone thirsts, if you've not been satisfied, if you've not found what you're looking for, even in religious traditions all around you, come to me and drink. Who believes on me, said out of his belly, shall flow rivers of living water. Not just will you be satisfied, but you will become a vessel through which others will begin to hear the word of God. And it doesn't mean we we'll forsake truth. It doesn't mean we stick our heads in the sand and pretend we're not facing judgment. No, it means that God so loved the world. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life that is the word that is the message that is the call of god's love